Okay, so I thought I'd uh, do a short little video here, kind of giving you a behind the scenes look at uh, my little setup, uh, which is by no means perfect. Um, but I thought it would be kind of interesting um, just to show you my, uh, <clears throat> just to show you my setup, how I run my little YouTube um, channel here, which is gigantic as you guys know. But um, I have uh, adopted a lot of shorts into my channel and that has brought in a lot of subscribers, so thank you. Um, and then I also try to put in a lot of the long form content, uh, content as well. So I just wanted to show you some of the tools that I use. Um, this is just right behind my house here. My house is up there. And uh, we're fortunate to kind of have a nice little wooded area back there. So I have a couple trail cams. And uh, one of the trail cams is uh, right here on this tree. And then when you turn around, right over there, there's another trail cam on that tree. And those are just, I mean, they're pretty inexpensive. I think I paid $36 for them. Uh, the brand was Osinus, uh, and it was off of Amazon. I don't think they make them anymore, but there's a gazillion like this. So, so I got two, they run 24 seven. And the way I do that is what I'm gonna show you now is I have uh, two full sets of rechargeable batteries and then also um, two, or I guess I should say, four total uh, of the micro SD cards. So I guess two sets of the micro SD cards. So these are the little micro SD cards. And then I just come down and uh, open it up. And I, I change the batteries out um, every, every couple days. And I have another set of rechargeable batteries. So, you know, uh, there's plenty of time for when these char the cams are running and then the other batteries are charging. So I'm going to show you what those batteries are um, because I happen to really like these. They're rechargeables. These cams, um, if you use just regular, you know, Duracell, whatever, those kind of batteries, uh, Energizer, you're probably going to get about, about a week um, worth of use out of it until it just discharges. So get yourself, if you're gonna do this route, get yourself some rechargeables. They're a tiny bit more expensive, but really not that much more expensive. Okay, so I like these EBLs, um, and uh, my cams take uh, AA batteries. I don't think anybody takes AAA, but uh, my cams take AA batteries. So I just bought um, 16 of them. My cams take four batteries each, and I run two cams at a time, and they're just right across from each other. So that means that, you know, when the cams are running, th those eight batteries are fully charged and we're running on the cams. And then I take the other four batteries or eight batteries that need charged and I charge them. Um, and they, they, they run really well and they last a good solid, you know, pretty close to a week. Um, if it's really, really cold, um, it'll be less than a week. Or if there's just a lot of activity down here and there's a lot more video being taken, a little bit less than a week. But I try to change them out so I don't miss any footage about every four days, especially in the winter, because co extreme cold is very tough on any batteries, no matter what. It doesn't matter what kind you get. So um, here's the kind that I have, and you'll notice that it's the uh, 2800 uh, MAH, which I think stands for milliamp hours or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter what it stands for. But... Um, the, I like that EBL brand. They have been really good for me so far, and they got good reviews on Amazon as well. So I'll leave a link in the description. I am not affiliated at all with any of these products or any of the products I review or whatever. It's just, you know, what I use and what I'm uh, happy with. So, uh, so yeah, so I just take the cards out each day, and um, each time I come down here, I have a, a fresh set of cards, and I take the cards up to the computer, and um, I look through uh, probably around, you know, 40 to 50 videos per cam. Um, so about 100 videos or more, give or, give or take, uh, per day. And I pick out, you know, the best couple videos that um, I think that you guys would enjoy. Now, these cams are recorded in the format that you're watching right now on, on the GoPro. So it's like the, it's the horizontal footage. So if you're gonna do shorts, shorts like, likes the 
vertical footage, you know, kind of like your cell phone. That's, you know, vertical as opposed to horizontal. Um, and that's just the shorts format. So I have to edit that. And I edit that with uh, DaVinci uh, Resolve. And it's just the, it's probably a couple of um, additions uh, in the past. Uh, but it's free. It's open source. It's DaVinci Resolve. And um, I put it into the format for shorts, which is, again, the vertical format as, as opposed to the horizontal format. And you have to transfer them. And I do that on, like, Cloud Convert, uh, I think it's called, on the web, which is a free app on the web. You don't need to download it. It's just right on the web. Um, so you need to convert the AVI file uh, to an MP4 file. And because DaVinci Resolve does not recognize .avi files, and they might not recognize .mov files. So they're kind of particular, but it's free, and, it's, and it works, and, you know, it is what it is. So, um, so I got to, like, convert those trail cam footage over to MP4, and I download those, and then I put them into DaVinci Resolve, and then I'm able to edit it. And a lot of the times the animals that are, I'm recording in these cams, you know, they move on the ground, you know, um, they're walking or whatever. So I got to try to like, you know, get them into um, the focus that would, would make a decent short. And, um, and DaVinci Resolve does have a, a couple of those tools. They're not the greatest, but it's open source and free. So I'll try to show that on this video as well. I'll do a screenshot of that. Um, and then I'll also do a... Uh, quick little show of like my electronics cabinet that I have um, I got the drone in there and I use a DJI uh, Magic, uh, Mavic Mini and that's under a half a pound so for you guys that don't know the drones these days are actually now regulated by the FAA which is the Federal I don't know, Avionics or Aeronautics Administration and if you have a drone that's over a half a pound I think it's 500 grams I believe um, then you have to actually get a drone pilot license like a legit license and it's required if you have a drone that's under I think that half a pound limit I think it's 500 grams if I'm wrong I'll make a correction in the video here um, you can get like a, what's basically referred to as like a recreational permit but you got to get that permit so I'll leave a link to um, or I'll put it in the video maybe right here, uh, the information of where you can get that recreational permit. A lot of it's common sense, but there is some stuff you need to know. And there is a link for the organizations that run the training uh, and the testing that you can get your permit. And all that can be online and also I think for free or maybe $5. I think it was free. I actually got mine through the Boy Scouts website, so I believe it was free. I don't know if they asked for a donation, but I think it was free or almost practically free. Um, so, so you have to have that now, um, whereas in the past you did not have to have either one. So again, under a half a pound, you got to get this, you know, recreational permit, and that's the weight of your drone. Um, so the DJI Magic uh, Mavic Mini. Um, at the time that I bought it a couple years ago was under that half a pound. And now they, all, they also have, um, you know, uh, a requirement that you have to have a tele, um, you know, like not a teleprompter, but a, uh, a signal, a broadcast signal for your drone in the air that it's um, signaled to your drone. So there's, there's more requirements um, these days. So anybody who's going to be doing drone footage for their YouTube channel or whatever, you got to know all those requirements. You do get a certificate and you can keep it with you and I'll show you all that stuff too. So, uh, but anyhow, um, the shorts are really, have been really, really good for my channel. Um, uh, I was doing these um, cams of the animals behind our house anyway. And I just, I thought that maybe you guys would enjoy them and I'm really happy that you did. So, um, and then YouTube also have it has an app where you upload the short from your smartphone, which um, I would recommend that you do. So, from DaVinci Resolve, I uh, have to save that file and um, upload it onto my Google Drive. 
because my desktop is not an Apple. And then from the Google Drive, which is just like the cloud, um, I can down that, uh, download that and have access that, to that in my photos area of my iPhone that I use then to upload the shorts. So it's kind of a production. I mean, but, you know, basically all of that stuff is like free or next to free. I mean, there's a small investment for the cameras and stuff like that. But all the software and stuff like that is free or next to free. And, um, you know, um, so if you're just getting into it, you know, every little penny counts. And that's just the way I like to do it because I'm not a professional. But, um, but I like to try to put out a good product for you guys. So, so anyway, so... Um, yeah, so every few days I come down here and I, you know, take out the batteries and I take out the old card and then I put in uh, the new card and uh, then go do the video, e video editing. So I'm going to go up right now and um, show you guys the uh, other, just like the equipment that I have and stuff like that for recording. Okay, so... Uh so we're inside my house right now, and um, I just have a little uh, cabinet area where I keep kind of my electronics. I'll show you what I got. And um, here's the uh, DJI. It's a Mavic Mini uh, drone. Probably goes for, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars, 250 maybe. And have my little area here where I recharge stuff. So I have the recharger, and I've got the extra batteries, and then this is the couple extra uh, rechargeable batteries for uh, the GoPro and the GoPro is just a um, it's a Hero 5 black edition um, it's a couple of years old so uh, so nothing crazy nothing important and um, I just like to keep all my stuff in there I did 3d print a little area here to keep all the cords in order um, and I also 3d printed a um, carrying case uh, for the drone as well so the drone fits uh, fits right in there and then I was telling you um, about the certificate so when you get your certificate it'll kind of like look like that so that's mine um, please don't take my authentication number but it'll, you'll get like a little printout like this so it's uh it's not that big of a deal to get but but get it just to make sure just in case you run into some kind of Karen or whatever who's complaining and they call the cops and you break out your certificate that you have your training you should be good to go for most of the stuff you're doing as long as you're following the rules obviously so um so that's it have a little recharger area in there keeps it nice and secure and I can just fold it away because can only imagine that um, you know this kind of stuff will uh, be able to uh, take over your life so to speak so make the rest of your family happy keep your stuff tucked away somewhere and nice and organized okay so this is DaVinci Resolve and what you need to do is obviously you need to convert whatever your file format is your video into an acceptable format in this case it's mp4 which is pretty ubiquitous so those trail cams come in AVI, I go on the web, transform whichever ones I want to use into MP4, and then save it into my little folder here on my uh, detachable memory area. So from there, you can download it into DaVinci Resolve and you can do some editing. What I recommend for shorts, I recommend this a lot. So do this. You got to change it into the uh, you know vertical format, which is I think the 1080 by 1920. That button is up in the upper right hand center area. And then from there, you can kind of, you know, zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, that kind of thing. You can also add text in here, etc. So you can do some editing to see, you know, where you want to focus on your, um, on your video. So in this case, it started out in the middle and it panned left onto the herd and onto the two deer that were kind of boxing. So um, you can also zoom in, zoom out, and, um, and do all kinds of stuff. So get used to DaVinci Resolve, and um, you can make really decent videos for free. From there, you save your file onto your memory area, your folder on your desktop, what have you. And you need to get it over to your um, handheld, your, uh, your cell phone. So what I use is I go into uh, Google Drive. 
that uploads it into the cloud. And then on your smartphone, you go into Google Drive on your smartphone and you uh, it'll be available there. It'll show whatever the file name is. And you want to click make it available offline. OK, and that will enable you to um, download or use that movie into the editor on your cell phone. So you want to open whatever that file is open in. And you'll see it on this little list right here. And I use an app called CapCut. That's completely free. You just go to the App Store and you download that. And CapCut will also allow you, you see the little green check mark there, it said make available offline and then open in. So you open that file on your phone in CapCut. And I know you've already done some editing on DaVinci Resolve, but that was on your desktop. So on your phone, especially for the shorts, you want to do this format. See CapCut right there? It's the third app. So and then in CapCut, this is a pretty good app um, for making the shorts. You can put in sounds in there. So if you want to make like a crash, a bang sound or, you know, a spring or whatever it is that you're doing, you can do that. And then you can also type in um, text in there and you can make it larger or smaller right on your phone. Then I recommend that you save it in the higher format, which I think is 2.4K. You could do 1080p, that's fine, but save it in um, you know 2.4K, which is good. So here I'm doing a little coyote video editing. This is just for show. If you want, you can go on my channel and take a look at them. Um, but from there, uh, there's a little arrow on the upper right hand area and it says, you know, save or export, import, whatever, something like that. And that will, what that does is that that puts it now into your photographs area on your actual phone, which is what you want. Because when you go to upload that information on YouTube, okay, so here's the, this, there's the sound right there. Lots of different sounds. So it's kind of fun. So add those, sa those sounds and stuff like that. The viewers like extra stuff. So once you're done with your editing on CapCut, you save it onto your phone. It'll be in your photograph area. And then you can open up the YouTube app and you can upload your short onto YouTube. So what you want to do is on the YouTube app, definitely take advantage of their sound. You definitely want to take advantage of their music that they have available. And then you can just upload it and it'll be uploaded as a short. The music that um, is really current and everybody enjoys and they have a really good library for 60 second clips of music um, on the YouTube Hi. mobile app is excellent. So that's why I go through this long process and I just don't upload it directly on the desktop because they want you to use your phones. So I recommend that you do that and people enjoy it. It's a better product in my opinion and you'll get more subs and more views and stuff like that, which, you know, ultimately kind of is the goal, right? So um, use those shorts. Everybody you, is uh, doing you, oh that God. on Facebook. It's Reels and then on TikTok. Yeah, so this is YouTube's version of that basically. Twins. And everybody's, you know, using that format. So you should too. So I hope that you enjoyed this little... Um, you know, a behind the scenes my... look at how I handle things. Um, obviously, you don't need to have trail cams or drones or anything. I... You don't need to a, a GoPro or any of that stuff. You could just have your phone and take excellent uh, shorts and excellent pictures on that. This is how I operate things. So, um, obviously, I'm not going to be down there in the middle of the night with my phone recording animals walking around. So, whatever it is that you decide to do on your channel, you know, good luck to everybody. I you know, wish you a lot of success. Um, and this is the way that I do it behind the scenes, low cost, and almost all this stuff is completely free and open source. So I hope that you appreciate that little, those pieces of advice. So, hey, thanks again for watching everybody. If you like it, subscribe um, and hit that like button. And I do have videos coming out every single day. So have a great day. Thanks.